Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. I'm sure you can buy them from anybody. Blah, 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 blah. Oh. Hello everybody! Welcome to today's Vlogmas. I don't even know what day anymore because I had to skip a couple days because I felt very... I don't know. If we're being honest, I felt very discouraged and not believing in myself. <laughs> so deep and emotional, but it's true. Like I just didn't feel like I had anything to offer content-wise compared to... There's the key word, compared to... Comparison is the thief of joy compared to like literally any other like actual Actual youtuber. I myself am actually like super behind on vlogmas. I haven't watched like anybody's vlogmas videos Which is both really exciting and really stressful to me really stressful because it means I have so much to catch up on but that also means it's like content that I can binge like a TV show like I could just binge people's vlogmas videos which makes me really excited so there's that, but anyway, I just didn't feel great about my own stuff. So, I mean, I'm making these videos for fun, for people who enjoy them, and hopefully like at least one or two people do. I know like my friends do, but like other people, like, I don't know. Anyway, that's where we're at. Today, in case you're wondering why I look so freaking fancy, I literally just thought I would try it today. I said that to my dad and he laughed. He thought it was hilarious. Today, I have a few errands to run. Tomorrow, my family is starting a two week quarantine, sort of like what we did for Thanksgiving, so that um, my sister and her husband, who literally live a minute down the road from us, can come and have Christmas with us. And that'll be really nice and fun because I miss my niece and I want to squish her face. Today, um, I have a few errands to run. Like I said, I'm going to do a Target order. Surprise, it's a freaking prize. And I have to go to the post office because I got a P.O. box and I need to get the key for it and I need to know what the number is for the P.O. box. And the reason that I got a P.O. box, I'm not gonna give that out so people can like send me stuff, but it's for like business purposes. But it's not in my town, it's like kind of far because I didn't want it to be in my town so that like people would know exactly like what town I live in and stuff like that. I don't know. I'm very paranoid about that kind of thing. And then I have to go to the bank. So glad we could catch up. Now I'm gonna do my errands and we'll check back in at some point. Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. I'm home now, yay. Literally the busiest freaking day I've had in the last nine months. Running around like a chicken with its head cut off. Sometimes after busy days like this, I lay on the floor. Like I legit will just lay on the floor for a half hour or an hour. It's just fun for me. It's kind of like my me time. It's how I chill and relax. Not a lot of people understand it, but I do it often. It's time for a floor lay from me. I got, I got some stuff, which I'll show you when I muster up the energy to sit up again. But for now, it's my floor time. Lot of boring math later. Hi. How are we doing? My room is a mess. Well, it's about to be a mess again. I super cleaned it yesterday and the day before and it felt really good, but it's about to be a mess again. So that doesn't feel great, but it's fine. We're dealing with it. So I'm just gonna quickly show you some of the stuff I got from Target. I'll show you what I got at Michael's a little bit. I mean, like there was a lot of stuff that I got at Michael's. Like it's the same thing, but like, you'll see. It's literally just different colors of the same thing. You, whatever, hold on. I got a new Swiffer duster, microfiber cleaning cloths. Woohoo, Christmas bags. It's a Christmas unicorn. I deserve this. Some Polaroid film. Other random stuff, I got a bunch of stuff to like organize my closet, which is gonna be part of either this vlog or a separate vlog. So I'll show all that then. I'm not gonna do all that right now. I got a calendar. Hopefully the year doesn't all go to shit. These pants and a matching crop tank top. I've been meaning to start this hobby of making earrings. I really wanted to do it. A bunch of people are doing it right now and it's a very saturated market and I'm sure you can buy them from anybody, blah, 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 blah. But I wanted to try it. It looks really fun, like a new way to like, use my hands. Like I love painting. I love, like I love 
creating stuff and I especially love creating stuff by hand so the clay for these earrings because like I said tons of people are doing this the clay has been so hard to find so I, I literally I can't like pick them all up and show you just know that I got a bunch of clay and then just like some other little tools to go with it so anyway that's that oh here's another pretty color of clay if you wanted to see orange that's it that's kind of all I got it's just a bunch of stuff right now I need to get the fuck out of this bra and jeans so I'm gonna change I'm already stressed about the fact that my room's gonna look messy for a while again is anybody else like this or is this just me suffering alone I had to take my mask on and off so many times today. I am so freaking paranoid now that I am going to break out super badly. So I decided I'm gonna do a face mask before I shower. Oh my God, he just yawned so loud. I'm trying so hard to keep my skin clear. So I am going to do a mask. I just need to dampen my face a little. I'll show you which one I use. Summer Fridays overtime mask, because this is the really nice exfoliating one. I have all of their masks and I'm obsessed with all of them. They're amazing. This one smells fall and wintry, like pumpkin spice, it's amazing. This exfoliates, it's really nice, does a great job. So you can sort of manually exfoliate and then leave it on for a bit and then rinse it off. If you have really sensitive skin, you don't have to manually exfoliate it. Now, I shall leave it on for like 10 or 15 minutes and rinse it off in the shower. Woohoo! We're in my closet now, it's a little bit later on. I just napped and I feel a little fuzzy in the head, but fine, we're just gonna go with it. I am gonna show you and start working just a little bit more on my closet from what I did the other day. I'll show you what I've done so far. Super exciting and riveting stuff, I know. So, this is basically all I've really done. I put some stuff in like, I got one of these bins here and one of them over here. And this one, I put some leggings and stuff that I've been wearing more recently. And in, in this bin is kind of like, I don't know, that's like a box of like my boyfriend's cologne, like random little things that just have been sitting in my closet that I don't really have another place for. So I kind of put them in here. Those are also things for him. But then this shelf and then these containers are also what I did. All of this camera equipment was in that middle drawer for so long. So I decided to take it out of there and organize it into these bins and I really like it the way that it worked so in this top thing this is literally all film for my Polaroid cameras for film cameras and then there are a few these are disposable cameras this is just like older cameras there's a flip camera in there I got more of the clear bins I got three of them here are the lids for those black bins I got five more I don't necessarily know exactly what's going in them yet but I do really like having that super organized look in my closet of like the cubes and stuff. This has this has turned into overflow of where all my sweatshirts are. This is not even half of my sweatshirt collection, which is upsetting and all awesome at the same time. I love sweatshirts, clearly. And I've been living in them in quarantine just like everybody else. But I would like to pare it down <laughs> so that it doesn't take up three shelves. By the way, yes, I did. Used to keep track of my, me and my friend's heights in middle school. And when we moved into this house in 2009, this is how short I was. You literally wouldn't even be able to see me where my camera is right now. And I am this tall now. I just took off like a tree. I need to get my hair in my face. I washed it yesterday. Now at the end of today, it feels, I can feel these front horribly cut, by the way, because I cut them myself. These bang pieces feel like they're starting to get dirty and like stringy and gross and it's driving me crazy. I can't find my hairband. Found it. This is literally what I used to wear my hair like in like grade seven. So hi, it's grade seven reunion. What's up? I have cedar blocks that I ordered from Amazon. I feel like they don't even freaking smell anymore, which is so irritating, but I order these on Amazon to keep moths out of my clothes. One shelf of sweatshirts. Okay, don't mind the mess, but these are literally <laughs> all my sweatpants and all the rest of my sweatshirts. I've always been this way. I have always loved comfy clothes. Like it wasn't just quarantine that did this to me. It was quarantine that made my collection double basically in size, which is absurd. All right, so taking you out of my embarrassing little um, sweatshirt spiral. Something about like the way I have everything organized right now just doesn't feel good. And I feel like I need to completely figure it out in my head before I do this. It's just the way my brain works. It's exhausting living in here sometimes. Okay, remember earlier when I said I was scared of my room looking really messy? 
it's happened this is a much bigger project <laughs> than i was expecting it to be tonight mostly because i'm unhappy with just the way that it's organized and also my closet is overflowing so i gotta figure that out get rid of more stuff probably and then I'll be able to have a bit more freedom. I hate getting rid of things. I'm terrible at it. I have like an emotional attachment to pretty much everything I own. I'm gonna go downstairs now and sit by my Christmas tree, watch Elf with my boyfriend, have an ice cream sandwich, maybe some popcorn and just chill. Cause I had a very busy day. I'm gonna go do that instead of all this. And then maybe tomorrow I will pick this up. I decided I am in fact going to break this into two different videos because this vlog is probably, I'm guessing a little bit longer and adding an entire closet redo to it might make it extremely boringly long. Is that a word? Point is, that's gonna be its own thing. So this vlog has come to an end. Thank you for watching. Um, subscribe for more Vlogmas if you're new. Sorry for the little break. I'm gonna try my best to be consistent from here on out. But you know, shit happens. I've been all over the place with my advent calendar because of having missed a couple days. Whichever one, I'm just gonna eat uh, eight. Right in his eye. Species unknown again. Oh, I so badly do not. Cheers. Happy Christmas. Oh, see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.